So, I guess let's give y'all an update. Since the last video, uh, I have had seven separate hunts where I had a gobbler within, a gobbler or gobblers within 30 yards, and one with a PhD, I got, I got within 40 of him, but we don't have a turkey, still. So instead of boring y'all with a bunch of stuff that I got hardly any footage or the turkey's on the second angle and I couldn't get the main camera on or whatever it be, instead of boring y'all with all that, I figured we'll just give you an update. Uh, it's been it's been rough, but you know, bow hunting turkeys. Hunting turkeys without a blind, it does not care how good you think you are. It does not care how many turkeys you've killed with a shotgun. It does not care how many turkeys you've called in for other people with a shotgun. It does not care. It does not discriminate. It serves humility to all who venture into it, including myself, because I've been eating a lot of humble pie this year. But that's a part of the game. It's been really rough for me. I've never in my life would I thought what I have thought I would not have killed a turkey by now. Um, but I'm gonna play the hand that we're dealt. I'm gonna go hunt a public land bird this morning. I've hunted this bird. This will be the third time I've hunted him. I hunted him two afternoons. Now I'm gonna hunt him in the morning. Got a pretty good beat on where he's gonna come out in this field at. I did see that there's a sign that he had been there since the last time I had been there. And I did see some other fresh sign uh, of him just the other day on this little opening where I'm planning on killing him at, killing him at on public. Sorry, I need more sleep. Anyhow, it rained last night and uh, it's fairly, a little bit cloudy, but I think it's starting to break. Gonna get in here and see what we can do with this bird. <clears throat> that sucks. We got a long walk, but it's gonna be raining on me, so I don't even think there's any point. I'm about to decide if I'm even gonna hunt this turkey right now because there's a heck of a storm coming. But I'm not going to get all this camera equipment and all this crap wet and ferry all this junk over there. I don't think it's worth it. It rained us out this morning. I drove up to hunt this turkey and turned around and come back home. So I found tracks where he was there since the last time I'd been there and I put eyes on him yesterday evening. So I know what corner he, he likes to hang out at in the evenings. So. The trick's gonna be, can we get in there and get set up without being seen? If we can, feel pretty good about our odds this afternoon. All right, here we go. I really like this setup. So I wanna go over what we changed from yesterday. This gobbler's coming out on private and I've got the decoy in such a way that he can see it from the private now yesterday when he came across the field he hugged that far edge of the corner and he couldn't even see that decoy today if he hugs the far edge he will definitely see the decoy whether he comes or not is another question uh, but for sure if he comes out in that corner and, and doesn't hug the edge he's gonna you can't miss that decoy but 
changing it up a little bit using the strutter. Um, it's going to help me get drawn a lot better, but we'll see. I'll probably go ahead and draw before he gets to the decoy just because I'm not trying to make this footage too sexy, guys. I still have not killed a turkey yet. So trying to get on the board and get some positive momentum going. I, I didn't see any turkeys in the field when I got here, so yesterday it was rainy. Normally they'll be out a lot earlier when it's like that. Today it's just a clear day. So I predict they'll probably hit the field in probably 30 minutes or so. But I'm set up. I'm tucked in. I really like this setup. Shot's going to be about probably 9 yards. So we'll see what happens. Good Lord willing, we'll make a good shot and we'll get an opportunity. It's over. Oh man. On Good Friday. Public land. Heavyweight with beard rot on Good Friday. I'm gonna say a prayer right now. And I want y'all to know something. Any y'all watching the channel know what a struggle this year's been for me. But I wanna give thanks to the good Lord Jesus for teaching me lots of things in this duration of the season. I just want to give thanks to him. Dear God, thank you for this turkey. Thank you for answered prayers, God. Thank you that you're a God that loves us, that wants the best for us. God, thank you for just blessing me with this, this turkey on public land here in Georgia, God. I, I'm undeserving. 
you know what a struggle it's been. But God, thank you just for a good Friday for your son that sees past our struggles. Our biggest struggle is sin, God, that forgives us of our sin. There was a replacement for it that gives us everlasting life. If we'll just seek your face, God, and have a relationship with you. God, again, I just thank you so much for this turkey right here. <laughs> thank you for this hunt. Thank you for this experience of bow hunting turkeys. God, what a trial it can be, but what a, there is no greater reward to me. So God, I just I ask you to forgive me of my many sins and all the ways that I fail you. God, help me to honor your creation, but most importantly, Lord, help me to honor you in everything I do. And thank you for this hunt. Me and old buddy, gonna, we're going to sit here just a little while. Just try to let this soak in a little bit. What a beautiful Good Friday. You see his little beard rot. I told y'all he's a beardless gobbler. He's got some beard rot, which I figured. See that? Oh boy, that's some beard rot. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Well, appreciate y'all watching this video and joining my long overdue. I talk about a lot of times I get asked uh, what the statistics are on successful hunts as opposed to how I used to hunt with a shotgun and uh, this will make the 10th gobbler. That's the 10th gobbler that has came, either came in to within shotgun range. Um, so I said one, one for every 10 with a shotgun. That's probably about accurate. I, I, that's not always. Hopefully the stars will align a little bit better this next week and I can get on a, a couple more, but Footage wasn't too sexy. I apologize, but uh, given my current predicament and struggles, I wasn't about to try to worry about the camera. So it is what it is. This we'll see y'all next time.